there's a lot of music now. There's a lot of noise as well. I mean, it's becoming easier now to make music. I've always wanted to be a singer songwriter. I think I've never really had another plan. Music's coming out a lot quicker. Because it's easier technically to write songs, there's a very oversaturated market. You're under this pressure to sort of get out music much quicker nowadays. You can write it anywhere, on a laptop, on a plane. There's millions of artists who are really good in London. We made our first album at Big Limbo, which is a studio that we built collectively about two years ago. Kind of gradually developed it with different friends, sharing equipment, sharing everything. I think the concept of a musician has changed, it's broadened a lot since before. Because before you'd have specific instruments, now you've got people who just, all they need is an iPhone to make a song. There's a lot of things that you can do to make music really quickly and like Ableton's changed that massively. Because there's a lot of people that don't ever break through because they're just making music and they never share it with the world. Social media, it's really important, but it can be really tiring sometimes because you always have to put something out. You have to be your own manager, your own booker, agent, sometimes promoter. I try to play a lot live because I think that's how I get most of my audience and my my listeners. Making music now is like a business card to get the gigs. The gigs are where you make the money. Streaming platforms are definitely shifting the music industry. You have to go and play live more, you have to be much more clever in your marketing and your strategy in terms of making an income revenue as a band these days. When CDJs were invented, a lot more DJs started coming out and learning to play, so it became really competitive. And the only way to like sort of edge forward was to actually make your own tunes. I was young at the time, so I didn't really have a sound. You know, I grew up on hip hop, and then I started playing garage, and I started making dubstep. As you go through music genres, you start to like develop taste quite quickly and then you hear a new sound and a new sound. I'm working on my first EP with uh, some cool producers here in London. For me, the pressure comes for the fact that I do a genre that right now in London is really, really common. There's a lot of neo soul artists and I struggle with being original. What I'm trying to do is just be myself as much as possible and trying to kind of go back to my roots because I'm Italian and Moroccan so I try to delve into that so I mix new soul with other bits of myself and I think that's what it's gonna be unique about me when people are gonna hear my music as if I have nothing to say as if I had nothing to die for as if I had nothing to prove Too much on my mind and too little time, little time Too much on my mind So this is my track which is called When You Wake Up I made it in Ibiza quite a few years ago and it was inspired about like the dream state and in between realities I love to just, when I feel in the mood to make music, that's when I sit down and just get into my own little zone. 
for that brief moment in time, you might just lose yourself in the music and nothing else matters. The music that I try to do is to help people and to like be kind of Nina Simone and Lauryn Hill. There were singers, some writers, but there were also like activists. And if you're committed and, and, and diligent, you know, the things that happen, I mean, you know, there's some people who are, are blessed with gifts, but then there are certain people who can work toward, you know, even with the gift that I have now, I mean, I'm not, you know, I've, I've leaned on God for so long. Hey God, you just gave me this gift and I'm just gonna go out there and sing. But it's, it's only now that I'm realizing how much larger and how expansive my gift becomes when I actually pay attention to it. I want my music to create feelings, memories, and have like a timestamp in your life to move people in a way that it will make them feel. I think the future of genres, for us at least, is just writing songs. And rather than getting stuck up and being part of a genre or a clique, and I think the world's changed a lot in that way where there isn't a punk movement, there isn't a certain movement, there's just so many movements that are happening at the same time. I think we've just fallen in love with composition and expression to the point it doesn't really matter what genre it is. I don't make music to fit into different boxes, I just basically make expressions of myself. We're looking up mostly to just make as much music as possible, writing, recording, producing and playing live. I think sometimes we can get a bit lost, but that's also a fun part of the making of music because sometimes when you get lost, you, you can find another avenue of what that means to you at the time. And I think because we love making it so much, we find these processes quite exciting rather than being a problem. I always wanted to make music, so this is my plan, this is my future. Writing a song is always going to be hard and in many ways because it's easier technically to write songs there's a lot of noise in the industry 